up everybody? Russ with RWGResearch.com here. I am still alive. I've been learning how to TIG weld aluminum. It's really hard to weld iodized aluminum. Looks like it's clean, not clean. Lesson learned. Anyway, what's up? Yes, my name is Russ, RWGResearch.com. Did I just say that? I don't, I don't know. I don't have a clue. Anyway, this is sort of a uh, update video. I haven't made a video with this camera in about three months. Three months. And I don't regret that at all. Um, yeah, I'm trying to find my way through life and I've just learned a few things over the last couple of months and I've taken the time to uh, realize them. And that's what I've been doing. So thanks for sticking by my side. Those of you who are still watching this video now, it's been a while and I haven't posted anything. This video is going to be a little bit about me talking about what I've been doing, pretty well talking about how I've been feeling, and just letting you guys know what I think. So if you're not into that kind of stuff, well then don't come back to my channel and go, you don't ever finish anything, and you don't ever get anything done, man. I'm done watching you. Yeah, I don't care about the people who act like that, because I do this for me. This is about, well actually, that's a lie, sort of. That's a miss word. Anyway, what I mean is, is I don't just do this for me, I do it for you, I do it for them, I do it for him, I do it for her, I do it for that kid, I do it for that mom, that dad, that grandpa, that grandma. I do it for everybody. I try to make this place a place where I can share my, me, my, whatever it is I'm doing at the time. This is called YouTube. It started out as a platform about you and it's your channel. That is what this thing's all about. Now, that's not what I'm saying is the grand alternative here. By the way, it's really hot. This hat's hot. And this actually came from a, uh, oh yeah, should we talk about that? I'll tell you where this came from in a minute. Um, but we'll get to that in a second. Anyway, this place is about my life, my adventure, what I'm doing, and ultimately bringing you guys along, teaching you, uh, learning from you, and sharing the knowledge that I've gained. That's what this place is about. So, anyway, uh, about this hat. So, let's see. I don't know if I've told this little story, so I will try to tell it the best I can. I was in California. Uh, well, I, I, I was born, born and raised in Indiana. Got me a nice job there, about the highest pay dollar job there you could find, which wasn't very much. And it was fine, but it was a dirty, disgusting place, and uh, health-wise, it was a terrible place to work. So, I've uh, been working on this alternative energy stuff and getting a lot of people involved and trying to help and learn and share and open source and do everything I possibly can. And it rewarded me with the ability to go to California and work for a gentleman there, and I worked almost for four years on cold fusion and alternative energy and all kinds of things. But it came to a point where two things happened. One, I needed to find a slightly different uh, thing to do um, because I wasn't quite getting where I wanted to be. Most amazing opportunity I've had in a long time to do what I did there. Grateful, happy, love the people, no complaints. But I wasn't quite getting where I really wanted to be. And it's kind of strange, but that's just kind of how it worked out. And ultimately, uh, they had to make some decisions that uh, I just wasn't 100% on board with. And that's totally fine. Their decisions were completely reasonable. And I decided that uh, I wanted to try to find something else. So uh, I did. I, I found something else. I actually was working on alternative energy uh, for a while. And that sort of uh, came to a halt when other things happened, which are none of my business. So I can't describe them to you. Uh, but ultimately, I had to get a new job, which was fine. And... Um, that's what I've been doing. I've been doing this new job. I had to move from that house. I'm still here in Las Vegas. I moved from California to Las Vegas a year and a, year and a couple months ago. And then I had to move from that house after about a year and a couple of months, um, which was a huge undertaking. And during this whole process, uh, I, just, I just got to sort of learn a lot. Um, and one of the things I just realized was, yeah, I'm a workaholic. My dad's a workaholic. The Grease family's a workaholic. Uh, that's just what we do. There's something about us that we work a lot. And there's nothing wrong with that. But ultimately, uh, it was difficult, uh, to say the least. I just always wanted to be doing something. 
So priorities were a little screwed up. Uh, as you guys know, uh, my background is Christian, and I do a lot of things involved with the church and try to help in that field of life, and that's ultimately what this whole entire adventure of life is about, in my personal opinion. I've learned that through experience, and that is definitely truth, which is why leaving this YouTube channel, you know, sit for a while, kind of was hurting me inside, because I want to share this knowledge and get this stuff out to you, and share what I'm doing, and just be involved with you guys. It's something that I really enjoy doing, and I've neglected it uh, due to uh, learning lessons. So, like I said, something sort of happened when I moved here, got this new job, and I've just sort of learned that I need to set my priorities up a little bit different. Um, this YouTube channel and the things I was doing was definitely high priority, and it still is very high priority in my uh, in my wants, in my in my want to dos. But ultimately, I got five kids. The oldest is nine. The youngest just turned four, and everyone else is in between. And so I really, really, really need to spend more time with them. Uh, you can always get more money. You can always get more stuff. You can always do more crap, but you can't get the time back with your family. You just can't get it back. It disappears forever. So, you know, I'm not out to make money or do anything like that. I'm, I'm here uh, to, to share, learn, teach, have fun, enjoy life, and ultimately working my butt off doing these projects is great fun. I love it. It's, it is deeply inside of me it's something that I enjoy doing and sharing these things with you. But I need to spend more time with my family. So that's what I've been doing. I've been trying to focus more on my family. I've actually been solving Rubik's Cubes to keep my mind sharp. Uh, uh, I got a new 7x7 seven seven and a 5x5 five five and a 4x4 four four and a 2x2 two two and a 3x3. Three three. You can buy them as a kit for like 20 bucks. So, you know, that's good entertainment for me. Um, keeps me busy, keeps my mind going, keeps me thinking, and uh, brings back some good memories of the days when I could just focus on something fun. And, uh, and so I've been solving Rubik's Cube. I'll show you the 5x5 five five solve. I've almost got it down to 10 minutes, which is still terrible for a, a speed cube of any kind, but it doesn't matter. Uh, I'm having fun and learning and keeping my mind sharp that way. So I'll do a live stream with you guys while solving the 5x5 five five just for fun. Okay, I will do that. And I have the 7x7, seven seven, which still frustrates me a little bit, but I can solve it. Uh, but anyway, beyond the points of that, there's been a lot going on. So, not too long ago, one of the fellow YouTubers that um, that I watch, I've always watched for a long time, um, apparently committed suicide. Um, and may he rest in peace, and what a terrible, terrible thing. And, you know, it's like, that something like that happens and you just wonder to yourself, like, I'm over here, I've got a family, I've got all this stuff, I've got this amazing family, okay? My wife is beyond words, okay? It's, she really does most of the work. She's the only reason that I eat every day. No joke, okay? She homeschools, she deals with the children all day while I'm at work, she does the laundry, cleans the house, does all, I mean, just cooks, just, she does a lot. Okay, I try to do my part, but b believe me, I don't do enough, okay? This is where I've been trying to focus more of my energy lately, to priorities, right? And she, uh, you know, uh, this, 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 this what I have is, is a blessing beyond belief. And here I am doing these projects and working so hard and not even like hardly paying attention to what's going on with family. I mean, yeah, I'm here, I'm there, I'm doing what I can, but really not focused on the family, okay? So I've been trying to focus on the family a little bit more, and it's been a necessity. And what's interesting about that is there's a gentleman who is a smart man, good engineer, makes fun videos, I enjoy watching them, and he decides that he's gonna, excuse me, he's gonna take his, his own life and commit suicide and it's just it's just like I'm over here doing something that I enjoy and missing out on the opportunity that I have with my family and you know this this gentleman decides he has nothing to live for and it, it, it just really kind of burned me I really had to think about that for a while it really kind of screwed me up and then uh, the last like four days ago as of recording this video I guess Grant Thompson um, 
from uh, the, the king of random um, had a paragliding incident or something and he he passed away too and I think he had family and kids so I'm just thinking like okay you could go paragliding all right and have the danger of that or you could walk outside and get hit by a bus okay you don't have to do anything extreme to not be here anymore that's what I'm saying okay and back to this hat so this hat was actually given to me uh, by a gentleman my dad's really good friend um, and he passed away not too long ago he had cancer great guy gave me a lot gave me a lot of tools actually I have a lot of his tools um, and his ladder over there so it just kind of made me think you know what's my priorities what should I be doing what should I focus on what's important and I took a little break from making YouTube videos and it was a ne it was necessary to make me just think for a little while what I should be focusing on um, and beyond that uh, my new job it's great fun I love it it's a huge blessing and it's extremely mental mentally draining I, I have to focus most of my time even outside of there on what I'm doing there in order to do what I'm doing which is great I'm totally happy with that but it leaves no room for this I get to play with the my Rubik's Cube right for half an hour every day and then spend the rest of the time with my family um, and I'm teaching them how to do the cube by the way which is actually pretty fun so anyway um, yeah that's kind of where my mind's at so I'm here now I'm doing this job I'm having I'm, ha I'm I love what I do right now I'm not complaining at all and I'm just trying to get back in the groove in fact I was gonna cut something on the mill today uh, before I go back to work tomorrow but maybe I'll just do it tomorrow um, for that project there so um, yeah that's where I'm at um, I, mo I wrote some notes down over the last couple of months one of them is uh, Early on, when I didn't, when I stopped making YouTube videos, I said in my last video, it was nice whenever it was a time frame, whenever I didn't have to worry about YouTube wasn't a priority, and I said that in that video, and I, I meant it. Um, and uh, most people, they're interested in one thing. So if I do 3D printing, you're interested in that, and nothing else I do, okay? And vice versa with other videos and, and content and stuff. So I can't really base my channel on what you guys want to see, because that doesn't work, okay? I tried that. Um, I tried making content that would take off, right? So stuff that would really get people involved and get people watching the video. I built that 3D printer, the coil winding one right now, and CNC is still, and it's it's a beautiful machine. I still haven't finished it because I haven't had time to finish it. Plus, it kind of turned into a prototype machine, which was fine. There's a lot of details there, which took a year of work straight just to do. That's a That was like a development process for me on a side project, so it was a big... It was a big deal, right? These are side projects. These are just things I do in my spare time, whatever that is, um, when I'm not doing stuff with my family, which I should be. So that didn't really ever take off. I've had my YouTube channel since YouTube opened up. I mean, it, it's just, my channel just hasn't grown into that kind of scale. So that's fine, but that doesn't bother me. It's just why try to build this big platform when really that's not ultimately what I'm trying to do. I don't think. I think what I'm trying to do is just share my knowledge with the people who want to see it and the thousand people, the people, uh, 1500 people who see these videos, who enjoy this content, um, I'm completely happy with. So subscriber numbers don't mean a whole lot. I'm over 50,000. Yay! I only get about a thousand to two thousand views on videos, which is completely um, fine. But that's realistically my subscriber count, if you really want to think about it that way. Um, so beyond that, uh, I started thinking some more, and uh, I realized that not making videos is actually—it's actually really—it's actually really not a good thing for me or for you because I like to encourage people and share my love and share my hope and share my dreams and share my doings and teach you, uh, you know, about Jesus and the Bible. Okay, that's, I enjoy speaking those things to the world, and that's my release. That's like my way to do that. I never really had a great childhood. In fact, it was pretty bad. I had to quit the Boy Scouts because I got made fun of so bad that I didn't want to go to Boy Scouts anymore. That's pretty rough. And it never really got better all the way until about halfway through high school when I snapped on everybody and they pretty well freaked out. The rest of my time was fine. But up until that point, you know, it was really hard to have the relationships and friendships and, and to express my things as a kid. So that really gave me super thick skin to deal with you crazy people on the internet leaving crazy comments, all right? You 1% kill the 99 positives, okay? You really do. 
So I, I've, I've had to learn how to deal with that along the way, and it's, help, it's been helpful to have that kind of childhood. So what I'm trying to say is uh, it was really actually hard for me not to make content because I like to release these things. I like to share and express. And, um, and my previous job kind of let me hit and miss on what I could do and couldn't do, and, and that's fine, but that's just the way it worked. So, um, yeah. Now, what else? Okay. Uh, oh, I was at church one day and they were talking about not burying your talents uh, because they encourage other people, especially to follow Jesus, okay? And that's, that's partly what I like to do. I like to show the little things in my life that make my life what it is, and that's a huge part of it. So I share those things with you, but not in a way that's preaching, okay? I don't like to preach at people. I like to just share my story. And that's what you're supposed to do, is share your story, and that's how I live, and that's how I've encouraged people, and I'm completely happy with that, and I have no regrets. In fact, I have no regrets doing anything or making any choice, good or bad. There are some things out there which I would probably do different, but I don't regret them because they taught me a lesson or they made me realize something, and that's good. That's a good thing not to have those regrets, so, and I don't have any regrets. I'm completely happy with what I've done so far and where it's taken me, and the blessings I've had, and everything else. Um, yeah, here's one for you. Don't look to other people and judge yourselves. Okay? So if I've got something good, or you got something good, don't, don't look to those other people and judge yourselves. You, you all have your own internal talents, whatever they may be. It could be music, it could be art, it could be teaching, it could be reading fast, I mean, typing, okay, I can't spell, read, write, or type for crap, all right, it's just, those skills never really developed well, but I can build you anything out of anything, if you just give me the stuff and let me add it, okay, and that's my little niche, and that's what I share on this YouTube video, I've had people call me genius, and I just laugh, I'm like, I'm not, I'm not a genius, but if you say so, you know, I'll take that, but then I watched something I did years ago, and I'm like, wow, that was, that was actually pretty pretty freaking awesome and it's like okay I see where people can see that but that doesn't mean I'm special that just means that you have your own talents and you should use them where they where they belong and so that made me realize okay I gotta figure out a way to get back into making YouTube videos because that's a talent that I have that sharing these experiences and knowledge with you is actually something that that's part of something I don't want to to actually lose so um, courage this is straight from the Bible in Matthew I don't remember the verse, but courage comes out when you believe in something greater than yourself, okay? So basically, I believe in something greater than myself, which is helping you guys sharing, uh, fixing the world of alternative energy, changing, you know, I can't change the whole world, but I can make little bitty tiny uh, inputs, right? And this last three months or so that I haven't really been making YouTube videos, holy cow, man. It's like, and no disrespect to anybody but I don't know how you can just go to work go home go to bed go to work go home go to bed get up go like this routine of not really having a a goal in life you know you go to McDonald's and flip cheeseburgers which you know, I'm happy for people who work at McDonald's even though I don't personally eat there I quit doing that a long time ago I only get McFlurries and sometimes french fries, but those are usually disgusting. No no defense, McDonald's or workers there, but how do you do that? How do people just go, have no ambition to do anything, go home, and I can see how someone on the other side of the world who decides there's nothing worth living for can get so depressed and, and, and get into a, such a bad uh, mental state that they would decide to take their own lives. Like, this is just... I mean, I've been low and I've been high and I've had those feelings but to take it to that level is just you got to be in a really dark place you know and um, and I just yeah it still bothers me a little bit that whole situation but I'm here I'm doing what I can right now I'm working at a company doing a thing and I'm actually having some fun it's really challenging project but it's fun and I've had a blessed individual who knows who you are, who has basically been helping me. Without that person, I would not be able to complete this task. Uh, I won't mention any names because it's not necessary, but thank you very much. And one day at a time, we'll get it done. 
So anyway, I'm gonna let this video be. I just wanted to share where I was at, kind of what I was doing. And um, trying to figure out exactly, uh, you know, exactly what I should be doing now. What, what exactly I should be focusing on. And right now it's mostly my family and doing stuff with them and spending time with them because they're gonna grow up and I'll have uh, hopefully a long time to live after they're grown up and out of the house to do anything I want to do. And in the meantime, I'll do what I can with the time that I have and try to focus on my family more. So I will post videos. Um, I've actually done a lot of projects in the last three months, which would have been really fun to film and show you guys what I've done. I, uh, I have to drive around at where I work right now and travel to different little buildings. They've got different tools and different shops and different things that I use to do what I'm doing. And uh, it's, uh, it's uh, open buildings and open, um, like basically down a road. And uh, it's been kind of fun because I, I found a scooter on the side of the road a while back, a really big uh, air tired uh, Razor scooter. And I used a bunch of crap parts that I had. And then I went out on a heavy trash day and found a bunch of crap. And I built a trailer for my scooter so I could put the crap that I got to actually use and do and move around on the trailer and drive that around at work. And it's actually been really fun. Nobody's complained about it and uh, it's been a fun experience. I even built a uh, lithium uh, battery pack. Like these are the type of things I should have been filming uh, but I had a bunch of these uh, lithium iron phosphate cells and I built a pack for that scooter and uh, it was a really fun project and I, that's why I was talking about my TIG welding at the beginning of the video. So um, that would have been a fun project to do and I've done a whole bunch of stuff since then. So I'll try to get back into it a little here a little there. Uh, but I just want to tell you guys that I love you, thank you for being subscribed, watching my content over the years, and uh, yeah, for all you haters out there, if you don't talk to me personally, then don't even think about telling someone else what I'm doing, how I'm doing, what's going on, because nobody knows the real story unless they talk to me personally. And that's something that I would appreciate for people not to go out there and leave comments like I said earlier about never finishing anything well whether that's true or not they don't know the reasons why I did or didn't finish something they could care less about that do you have food on your table hey how's your family doing do you have a place to live where's all your stuff by the way only half of my stuff is here the rest of it's at my new work they've been blessing me with a place to keep some of my crap I need to get rid of some of it but a lot of it I just like have to use for my project so like, people don't quite understand that whole thing, and that's okay, but, you know, if you don't hear it from the horse's mouth, don't repeat something someone else said. Um, other than that, um, anyone who I have uh, personally uh, offended over the years, I, I apologize, and I did not probably mean to do that. At the time, I probably felt it was necessary, or I made something or said something that I may not have, should have, whatever, so uh, for those people out there, if there is any, I apologize straight up. Um, but I'm just trying to do what I can. I'm just a guy doing a thing, trying to make it through this life like the rest of you. And what you see in these films, in this video, and what I'm doing is absolutely 100% just me being me, doing what I do. And you can ask the people who have personally come and visited me that, yeah, I'm exactly how I am in the videos. I'm just... Uh, here to do what I can. So I love you guys. Thank you for uh, sticking around and peace and love. Yes, as I need to do, read the Bible more. See you later. I'll talk to you another day. Are you still here? Check this out. I have fake grass in my garage. How cool is that? Fake grass in my garage. I really do have fake grass in my garage. Freaking awesome. When you get it for free, you use it where you can. 25 minutes, gotta go by.